What's up everybody? Well today I thought I'd go ahead and introduce to you another vacuum in my vacuum collection. This time it is something I've been wanting to get for a while. This right here is a Hoover Concept 2 Electronic. This is one of the top of the line models for the Concept 2s back then. And I really wasn't expecting to get this, this high up model. I wasn't looking out for a Concept 2 ever since I had my Concept 1 and my Power Max. I kind of wanted a Concept 2 just to kind of to go with the Concept line. At least I have one, one version of a Concept. And now I finally have the Concept 2 and it's got the electronic speed motor. So I thought, bonus. And I got this thing for only $50 from Facebook Marketplace. An older woman owned this vacuum, so you can only imagine that it was very well taken care of. There are a little bit of blemishes here and there, but overall I could say the vacuum is in excellent condition. So anyway, let's go ahead and give a walkthrough of the machine. Now I say it's in excellent condition. There are some scrapes and scuffs around the vacuum, but that's just from day-to-day -day use and whatnot. But anyway, down here, it this does have the power drive self-propelled. And it has three carpet height settings. It call, they call it the self-adjusting range. There's low, medium pile carpet. And then we have plush. That's what I have for the piling of my carpet. And you have shag. A tilt unit forward to ease adjustment. Which, that would kind of help if you're... If you're trying to switch it to the shag setting. Now one thing I can surely tell what was replaced is the cord because no Concept 2s from the factory came with a black cord, which that's not a huge deal. In fact, the, the cord is in okay condition. However, there is one little nick right here, but that's not major. But anyway, I do kind of like the black cord because it matches the handle and the bumper. But everything else is in good condition. When I got this, it did not come with a headlight went lens. I don't know why I almost sounded like Elmer Fudd there for a second. But when I got it, it did not come with a headlight lens. So temporarily for the time being, I swapped this headlight lens from my Hoover Power Max. The mounting points were the same, so it fit right in place. And I obviously had to replace the bulb because both both light bulbs in this were burnt out. So I did put some brand new replacement LEDs. So there's a little bit of a color tone difference to it, but at least I have confidence knowing those LEDs will last much longer than the original halogens. And one big thing that separates these Concept 2s from the Concept 1s back then is that they actually came with a built-on, what Hoover likes to call, the Helpmate. Basically what this is, is basically Hoover's version of a Dust Buster. It has its own little brushing tool right down there. This is what Hoover did back then for these concept machines before they introduced the Power Max and added an onboard hose. So anyway, to gain access to this, you, you want to press right there and to release the tab. And then your dustbin comes off it. And it does have its original filter, which, yes, this thing is pretty filthy. And I might need to get this thing to clean out one of these days. So anyway, let's go ahead and Put this back on, push that top of the tab down to snap it in place. Now this vacuum, you will notice, the help mate I will say, you will notice this big tab right back here, and that is for, to get power through the 
vacuum's main vacuum's cord. Basically, you just pull that off the side of the machine and stick it down into here to get power to the helpmate. And then when you're done, just put the cord back into the main vacuum to get power to the vacuum. Which is kind of strange in my opinion. I think I kind of wish they should have went with a, with a battery for the helpmate. But that would kind of overcomplicate things. So anyway, here's the model number to the helpmate. If anyone knows how to serial date these older 80s style Hoovers, let me know. But you can see it's 120 volts, 60 hertz. As a one, it has a one and a quarter amp motor. Model S1057-300 for the Hoover Company, North Canton, Ohio, made in the USA. And just push that and it snaps back in place. What makes this the top of the line concept is that it has the electronic speed control controlled by these these two buttons on either side and you do have a digital readout that shows right there which actually gives this motor a total of five speeds and your main power switch is behind the handle and right here is the original self-propelled drive handle the only thing I do not like about these older self-propelled is that it doesn't have a lockout for the self-propelled all you do is just hold it in place to prevent the handle from moving up and down, but it doesn't lock. It, it's not like the newer versions of the Concept 1s, the Concept 2s, and the Power Max, where you just had a separate lock up here besides the main power switch, which they moved up top there instead of behind the handle. Anyways, and show you the back. These older Concepts did come with a vinyl outer bag which this one is surprisingly in very good condition. And one easy way to tell that this is a vinyl outer bag are these many holes in the outer bag to vent out the, the bag inflating, which is kind of interesting. And speaking of bag, inside here, it's, it does run Hoover Type A bags, which I am running a HEPA cloth bag for increased filtration. There's a weird notch right here on the set on top of the on the top part of the zipper. But that doesn't seem to affect. It zips up and down just fine. And this being the top of the line, it does come with a built-on air freshener. And it does have little set tabs you can put in there, but this one is non-existent. And you do have dual release pedals in the back. One nice little quirk about these concepts, I will admit, is that the dual release pedals. And so anyway, before we get to running this thing, let's go ahead and show you the model number of the main vacuum. It's a Hoover Cleaner model U3301-030. One twenty volts, sixty hertz. It's got a 5.6 amp motor for floors and tools, which I don't know why it says tools because the helpmate's only one and a quarter amp motor. Well, I guess back in the day you can hook up a, a attachment kit to the bottom of the vacuum, but that would only be useful on the Concept 1. It's kind of unnecessary for this because you already got the helpmate with you. But anyway, as you can see right here, there's the serial number. I'm not sure how to serial date these early 80s, late 70s Hoovers. So if anyone knows, please let me know. But I want to say this vacuum's somewhere between in the early to mid 80s. Because I know this particular one's actually older than, than my Concept 1. So as we look down here, there's the self-propelled drive. Right here is the little drive arm for the self-propelled. And down below here is the all-original Quadriflex brush roll, meaning it's got four brush strips on it. And these brush strips are replaceable, but they're near impossible to find because 
unfortunately the patent for this quadruplex never expired so no generic companies could come out with replacement whole brush roll assemblies or even replacement brush strips which i really wish they did and it looks like i need to clean off some parts of this brush roll because there's a little bit of hair wrapped around but the brushes are in very good condition there's a section behind the strips that kind of acts as a beater bar in which this brush roll is probably the best brush roll hoover has ever put in a vacuum with the brush strips on front the beater bar is behind it this thing beats and sweeps the carpet just fantastic and the bottom plate on this this is my first time looking underneath it and the bottom plate's practically spotless there's like little to no scrapes and scratches on it so anyway let's go ahead and tip this baby back up And we'll go ahead and release the cord. I'm thinking this is about a 30 foot cord. So anyway, the top cord hook does release like so. And as you can see right here, you do have a bottom cord hook that, that springs up to let you easily wrap around the cord and it pops in for whatever reason. I think it's to give it a more sleek design when you have the cord off. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and Plug the vacuum in. Now I'm going to focus in on the digital speed readout. And let me do a good shot. Because when I plug it in, it does do a nice mini sweep when it starts up. But however, the default setting on this is obviously the middle speed. And you can adjust the speed up and down by these buttons. Very few times does this thing exactly want to work because sometimes you do have to press the buttons a little bit hard in order to get it to work. This button right here is to release the helpmate. The one thing I, I will probably have to fix on this day is, the, is to find a way to glue down the sticker for the digital readout because you can see it's, it is kind of warped and coming up. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and turn this vacuum on. And now I would like to point out, typical concept fashion, this thing is pretty loud, but I'm gonna start it off on low speed and then work it up to high speed. There's low. Medium.
thing runs exceptionally smooth. I mean, this is actually my first time giving it a full test run and it's just amazing. So before we end the video, let's go ahead and give the helpmate a run. And we just release it like so. And we'll go ahead and pull the plug off the main vacuum. And we'll go ahead and attach it down into the helpmate. And which this is the way this thing gets its power. And in typical hand vac fashion, the suction is really not strong, but in my opinion, this suction out of this helpmate is stronger than the hose suction of a Hoover Power Max. So anyway. This thing runs very smooth. This is a nice handy tool to use, but it's quite inconvenient, in my opinion, to have to switch the cord from the main vacuum to the helpmate. Also, the helpmate puts out a very odd smell when it's running, but that's probably because it rarely gets used. So anyway, plug the thing back, the cord back into the vacuum, and as you can see, this electronic speed just defaults to the metal setting in which you really don't have to think about it. Everyone just uses the high setting for pretty much everything and all the vacuuming they're doing, which I wouldn't blame them, but low speed definitely comes in handy when you're doing a low pile area rug. So that way the power of the vacuum doesn't rip, doesn't take up the rug with it. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video of the Hoover Concept 2 Electronic. Be sure and stay tuned. Don't forget to like, rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next time.